During this sequence, we will build on counting and cardinality. Up until now, children have had experiences to practice counting each object once and only once. Teachers are going to work on giving students an opportunity to strengthen understanding that the last number said tells how many they have without having to recount. For example, if this were given to a child and the teacher were to ask, how many do you have? The child would count one, two, three, four to answer four. To reinforce, the teacher will ask again, how many do you have? If the child has to go back and recount to say four again, then they have yet to master this milestone. Children are expected to say four again without having to go back and recount. We will build upon understanding how many they have by also keeping the starting set amount as a visual in their head. We will then add one more and count on by one instead of recounting. For example, if they are starting with four, they would be asked to identify how many. One, two, three, four. The teacher would then add one more and ask, how many do you have now? The child would look at the amount, keeping the starting four in their head and count on to say five. We will also build upon their understanding of how many they have by looking at what they start with and removing one to identify one less. For example, if this were placed in front of a child and asked, how many do you have? They would count to identify one, two, three. The teacher will then remove one and re-ask the question, how many do you have now? They will remember the three in their head and take away the one to have an answer of two. To assist in this strategy, we will be using counting progress boards to see the amount changing and anchor these mental images in their head. Students will use manipulatives to fill the board to see that we are adding one more each time and what it looks like as we progress through the sequence. This will continue all the way up to 10 and students will discuss patterns that they notice in building the numbers. It also will be looked at going from 10 down to 1 and taking away 1 each time to see patterns they notice when building in the backwards sequence. Another strategy that we will use to assist in this is a number line. Students will remember using a number line from previous experiences and will be asked to start at a given number, like five, and to move one more, which would move to six. This strategy would be used after multiple experiences with manipulatives and have mental images having been established.